<clears throat> good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Giving God all the glory. Welcome to the Five Minute Facebook Ministry. My name is Anthony Daniels. Today we're coming out of the book of Mark, the 12th chapter and the 44th, 44th verse. Mark 12 and 44. And it reads out of the King James Version. For all they did, for all they did cast in of their abundance, but she of her want did cast in all that she had, even all her living. Again, for all they did cast in of their abundance, but she of her want did cast in all that she had, even all her living. Again, these are, uh, <clears throat> these are the words of, uh, of Jesus Christ. And he's watched a poor widow who's put uh, two mites into the, uh, into the offering at the temple. And he calls his disciples together. And he spoke to him about what had just happened. And, he, and you know, there were, there were a whole lot of other people who was going in giving a lot of money. But he says, for they, they did cast in of their abundance. <clears throat> they cast in of their abundance. You know, a lot of us, when we have a lot, we give a little. When we have a lot, we give a little. We give out of our abundance. We have, we have more than we need, so, so, so we give some because we have more than we need. What Jesus is saying here is that, she of her want did cast in all that she had. She, ca she put everything in that she had, even all her living. She didn't have anything else. When she put in those two mites, which basically is a couple of pennies, a couple of, you know, uh, I mean, there's no money whatsoever. When she put in her two mites, she put everything she had in the offering. And what is significant about this? The significance about this is that she had reached a point where she knew that it was time to trust God. She knew that it was time to trust God. This was an act of faith. You know, when, when, when we give lots, when we have lots of money, when we have abundance and we give, we give large amounts of money, um, you know, that's not acting out of faith. That's not acting out of faith because we still have what we need to, have to do whatever we need to do. I was reading an article today about Mark Zuckerberg uh, and all that he's given away to charity. He's given away more than anybody else uh, in America. And you know, props to him. I love him for doing it. But I mean, that does not affect Mark, how Mark lives from day to day. He gave over $100 million away. Over $100 million away. That does not affect how he lives. He's given out of his abundance. So here we see someone who doesn't have anything doesn't have a dime to her name. She's got two mites. And she puts them all into the offering. She, she, is, she is walking on faith. She is walking in faith. She's believing God that if she gives everything to God that she has, that she's going to be blessed. And so we've lost that today. Because, you know, we, you know the, the, we, we're all into this worldly system of having to save money and having to take care of ourselves, having to provide for ourselves. When God has told us, he will, he will provide for us. That we're not supposed to worry about tomorrow. That we have enough problems for the day. And we've got to start to get back into that, in, into that, that, that feeling of trusting God. We've got to get back into knowing that God is going to provide for us. You know, in, in this day and age, you know, we can so quickly fall away from our faith. You know, fall away from trusting God and believing God to answer our prayers. Uh, waiting on the Lord to provide what we need. And we gotta grow, we gotta do it ourselves. But that's not what God wants. God wants us to wait on Him. And when we wait on the Lord, you know, he, He's not going to, He's not gonna make you wait forever. He's not gonna make you go through hardships. He's not gonna tip you. He's here to rescue you. He's here to provide for you. He's here to take care of, to take care of you. And He will give you what you need when you need it. That's one thing that we've got to learn to do. We've got to learn to trust God with, that, with our last little bit. With our last little bit. And we've got to do it as, as, this, as this widow did. We've got to trust God with our last little bit. We can't, we can't keep trying to hold on to things because we don't think that God's going to replace it. We can't, we can't continue to save money and hoard money because we don't think that God's provided for us when we need it. And then, you know, we're always in, you know, I, I, I have a little bit of savings. I'm not going to say I'm not saving any money, but I'm not saving a whole lot of money. 
I trust God. I know that, you know, there's things that I want to do, so I'm saving up money before I do it. But I'm trusting God that, you know, when I need big expenses, when, when things will come up, that, that God will bless me and I'll, be able to, and I'll be able to make it happen. Through my faith in God, that he'll be able to make it happen for me. And, and that's how we have to live. That's how we have to act in today's world. That, that act on that faith. Act on that faith, that trust in God. That's all the time that I have. Hey, God bless you. God loves you. I love you too. Have a great day.